<laughs> Happy honking new year to all my fellow weirdos. It's really great to see you again on YouTube. It's me, May, and today is the first vlog of the new year. We're going to be hanging out with the, no other than the bestest person in the world, Lauren Coley Lind. We're going to be <laughs> We're going to be making, crafting, hanging out. We actually got rained out this morning. We were going to move the boat, but now it's beautiful and sunny. But we're still going to just carry on with our plan, which is to do some crafting. Um, and then, yeah, just hang out this weekend. So come join us. My favourite way to start a weekend with a friend is drinking cacao, which is basically hot chocolate, but with major health benefits. A few to mention are high in antioxidants, supporting your skin. It reduces anxiety, lifts the mood, high in magnesium, which is something that we do not get enough of in our Western diets. Potassium, protein, fiber, it really is a magical thing to drink. It is. Mm. Ooh. Oh, merci. So first thing we're gonna do is make a macrame curtain. Depending on who you are, you might say macrame. But if you're me, you say macrame, like a commoner. And I need to drill some holes to hang the curtain. And now I'm opening my brand new drill. Dun, 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 dun. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. Christmas present legend. All right, let's not waste the battery. <laughs> All right, the curtain's going to hang here. And I've got these tiny little holder thingy bajingies that I'm going to put in without a drill. So Lauren's idea, which I think is a genius idea, is I'm just basically gonna put a hole into the wood and try and screw it in because it's pretty soft wood. Yeah, that's worked. Woohoo! Put in a hole. Now that the fittings are in place, I'm going to make about 50 strings that are double the height of the curtain, plus a little bit more. Then we attach each string one by one. next is we're going to create box knots at the top here so we've done a few already so we need to gather four strings together like that and then we'll make the box knot I'm gonna do that all along this top um, row like so and then the next step would be then to join those bits together and make a second row Phase one complete. <laughs> Got ya! <laughs> While Lauren works her magic on the macrame curtain, I'm going to work my magic in the kitchen and make something that Lauren has never tried before. It was introduced to me by my Israeli friends, Sarah and Ben, in Israel when I visited last year and it's called kanafe, which is spelt K-N-A-F-E-H and it is an Israeli dessert and when I tried this in Israel I was blown away like so blown away that I actually spilled all my iced coffee all over me because I got so excited so um, yeah this is kanafe pastry, it's really hairy um, and I'm going to chop off about that much for two people <laughs> I'm not very good with measurements if you watched my last video my giveaway you'll see that I'm a bit slapdash when it comes to stuff in the kitchen and I'm going to put this in a bowl and sort of break it all up pour my melted butter onto my canafe and then mix it all in with my hands it feels really hairy 
Next, I have mozzarella. I know. You ask, I'm hearing, what? Mozzarella in a dessert? Yeah. Never in my life have I grated mozzarella, but here we go. Oh, works quite well. Mmm, yum. I've got these two authentic Israeli canafe dishes all the way from Israel. Yay! Sarah bought them for me. So what you do is you take a layer of pastry and you squish it down in the bowl. Oh my God, I think I've got too much of everything. Then you put on some mozzarella cheese on top. Mmm. And then you put another layer of pastry on top of that. Kind of like a mozzarella sandwich. The final thing I need to make is a rose water syrup, which makes it really sweet. So I've got my brown, soft brown sugar here. I'm gonna put a bit of that in a pan. And then I'm going to add a couple of drops of rose water into the mix. Finally, some water. To make a kind of syrup. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Uno. Dos. It. Look at that. How many knots to go? Two knots to go. We got two knots to go. We got two knots to go. We got two knots to go. We're gonna ho ho ho. One knot to go. Go go go. One knot to go. One knot to go. Go go go. One knot to go. Go go go. One knot to go. Oh oh oh. Oh my god, we're nearly done. Woo! Ow! Ow! Oh my god. Ah. Look at that gold. It's finished. It's finished. So, do you want to show everybody what it's going to look like when it's parted? So, it's going to get cut at the bottom so that all of yeah. this will dangle evenly. Yeah. And then when it's parted, it's going to be something like on that. A hook. Yes. Like oh. Yeah? Yep. And then when I'm doing oh, yoga, it will be like this. <laughs> Yay, thank you so Minimal. much. Yeah, no worries. Did an arm workout tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Yay. I've been busy doing a while arm workout. May has been busy in the kitchen. Oh yeah, baby. Ah, oh, I can't see. Oh, ah! Ready. It's canapé! And you put it in this oh. little plate behind you, look. Oh, these are cool, aren't they? Oh, no. They're from oh. Israel. No. Oh, they're, they're, they're canapé pots. Yeah, canapé pots. Oh, that one's been on top of the arca. So that's a bit, bit, bit more bit browner. So then um, what we do is we get our... Uh, we drizzle some uh, syrupy stuff. Water. Rose water. Rose water with... Good shanty panty. And we basically just go wee a couple of times. Mm. Oh, I'm so excited. See, we make a good team, don't we? Oh, yes. You feed me good food, mm. I tie you knots. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I don't want to put too much on because it. Might ever do it. And then the final piece of resistance, pistachios. Oh, wow. I love pistachios. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, I'm going to have them. Yeah. Oh, my God. Honestly, I'm so excited for this. Wait, you can see. Oh, shadow. How can I not have a shadow? Oh, well, you have it's shadow. Good. It's fine. Gorda. Yay. Oh. Show me how excited ah. you are. Oh. <laughs> That's so exciting! <laughs> so anyway, 
anybody who didn't catch that, she jumped so high <laughs> and forgot she was in a narrow boat and bumped her head. That's how excited I was. You yes, said it. Sorry, is this cringing you that you're doing it on camera? Not cringing. Mm, that is so freaking yummy. Yeah, isn't it? You want to try some? Uh, yeah, I've got my whole... <laughs> mm, mm, oh my god, so good. So May has finished all of hers and I've pretty much finished mine. And now mm. she's eating seconds. Honestly. <laughs> how you could leave this is beyond me. <laughs> so, crack on. <laughs> Good morning. It is a beautiful morning. It's Sunday. And um, yeah, I was going to wait until tomorrow to move the boat because I wasn't sure on the weather forecast, but we're just going to move the boat today. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I have to walk through this. Oh no. What's happening? Not off to a good start. My alternate My alternator belt is squeaking a lot. It's like ah! Not now. A little bit. What to do? What was the question? No, just trying to hear the sound of it. So, do we, what do we do? Do we carry on into the abyss, the unknown, or do with we a squeaky up? fan bell, or do we stop and <laughs> do we crash into the side? <laughs> so, change of plan. I need water. I ran out of water last night, and the idea was that we were going to cruise to the next water point about three hours away, but got engine problems and by chance there's a friend coming out to pick up something from me right now who knows about engines so we're going to reverse back using the fender poles lauren on the front with a pole me on the back with a pole and get to the water point my hands oh my god my hands Lower the wheel. 
Robin's got ya. I am so glad that I decided to do this today and not tomorrow on my own. I, yeah, it would have been a different story. That's as slack as a slack thing on a slack day. Oh, God. So, look, I literally... Oh, God. That's where you've probably done it. You have tied the bolt up enough and it's, well, it's slack. It's dropped well, back. Look. But look, look, look how tight that is there. Yeah, like, but But it, go, it can't go any tighter. Yeah, no, no, it will. Really? I need to tighten my nuts. Always keep your nuts tight. Always keep your nuts tight. Best advice yet. <laughs> oh, look! Of the new year, 2023. <laughs> Keep your nuts tight. <laughs> You're so funny. Look at you. <laughs> A man is nothing without the right tools. Yes. <laughs> She's so, so wise. <laughs> okay, putting her into neutral. Let's hear. Oh my gosh, oh. that was all done before breakfast. <laughs> I can't believe that. That was an what? adventure. That was an adventure. Crazy. And, like reversing as well, and then the water, and then getting everything fixed. Yep. That was a success. It was a success, and it all happened so perfectly that Stuart was coming to pick something up from me, mm. and then all that happened at the same time. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like sometimes help just comes. Yeah. Like, when you need it, it's there. And it's like the fact that it happened today, like we wasn't planning to move today. Mm -hmm. If we had moved tomorrow, you'd have been in the shit. Basically. I'd have been in the shit. My car would have been really far away. I wouldn't have been able to get to work. Yeah. So yeah, everything happened so perfectly. It really did. Even yeah. though it's annoying, it worked perfectly. <laughs> yeah. So what have you learned? I've learned that I need to use socket wrenches when I'm tightening my bolts mm -hmm. because I did work on the alternator belt and um yeah didn't do it right. it didn't do no didn't do it right um so yeah that's what so i've learned by your mistakes i've learned my own mistakes <laughs> um and yeah that's probably it really <laughs> that's enough no no keep your nuts tight <laughs> keep the nuts tight mm. and i think what we're going to do next is we're gonna have breakfast. Mm hmm We're gonna take good. Shanti for a nice big walk. Mm-hmm. Because he deserves one. He does be a good boy, haven't you, babes? Yeah. And then we're gonna 
have a really big roast dinner. Oh, gosh. <laughs> like, uh, I haven't stopped thinking about that every 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we're literally right next to a pub. Mm. And then tomorrow, I'm going to cruise by myself. Tomorrow. Before I can work. Do this. Mm. Knowing that the boat's okay. Knowing that the boat is okay. And you've got water. I've got water. And the car's at the other end. I have to go. I actually have to tomorrow. Mm. Because of the car situation. Yeah. <clears throat> Excellent. Excellent. Let's hope there's no storm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that! <laughs> A huge thank you to everyone who supported me over the Christmas holidays. Tom, Chris, Ralph, Ian, Noel, Dan, Harvey, Laurie, Neil, Claire, Big Don, Lee, Nigel, Stephen and Chris Duncan. Honestly, you guys are just the best. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. And thanks to everybody for watching. As you can see, I made it. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Ta-ta for now.